we live in an imperfect world. And if we wait for the world to be perfect before we can practice, we're never going to practice. So you deal with the imperfections and don't let them get to you. Because you've got work to do inside. For example, thoughts of goodwill. It's not just nice pink clouds that we send out. Because pink clouds have a way of evaporating when things get hot. It's actually determining your intention that when you deal with other people, you're going to have their well-being in mind. Realizing that true happiness has to come from within, and so other people's true happiness doesn't have to conflict with yours, yours doesn't have to conflict with theirs. So want to make sure that you don't do anything that would get in the way of their finding true happiness inside. And this doesn't mean we say, may you be happy, whatever you're doing. If they're doing unskillful things, we hope that they will learn how to stop, and we'd be happy to help them in that direction. But think of it as help. And we're doing this for our own sake, because we don't want to have the wounds of bad karma on our conscience. The things we do, the things we say, the things we think, we want, we want them to be skillful. And it's a lot easier when you can think thoughts of goodwill. And again, we're not doing it because people are good or because people even deserve our goodwill. But it's simply because the best way for us to negotiate this world is not to wish anybody any harm. That we can look back at our actions and if it inadvertently we did cause harm, we realize it wasn't because of our bad intentions. And it's a lot easier to learn lessons from those mistakes. If you knew you were doing something unskillful when you went in, it's very easy to put up defenses to make excuses. And then you never learn. So cultivate thoughts of goodwill every day, every day. We're working on perfections in our mind. We're not working to perfect the world. But the good thing is that the more we can develop good qualities inside us, the more we have to offer to the world. The world becomes a better place that way. Because we're dealing with things coming from the source that we're responsible for. Other people may not be very responsible about theirs. But you can't make other people responsible. You can make yourself responsible. This is where a lot of the dignity of human life comes in. There's a famous German poet, Schiller, who made a distinction between acts done with grace and acts done with dignity. Acts done with grace are the good things you do, and the mind feels 100% behind them, happy to do them. Acts done with dignity are things that you, where you know the right thing to do, but it's going to be hard. But you end up doing it anyhow. So ideally we want to live in a world where we can act with grace. And failing that, we try to maintain our dignity. This is what goodwill is for.